purpose of today is marriage, the making of covenant promises between Evan and Kendall before all who are gathered here today before God himself. This is the day the Lord has made. Let's rejoice and be glad in it. Evan, love your wife just as Christ loved the church and give himself up for her. Evan, this passage certainly calls you to a high level of service. You even took it to the next level, becoming a police officer and serving at a really high level. But this verse says that you can love your wife best when you serve her and go all out in your love for Kendall and give of yourself completely to her. Wives, submit yourself to your own husbands as you do to the Lord. For the husband is the head of the wife, just as Christ is head of the church. Peter 3 7 says be a good husband to your wife honor her delight in her in the new life of God's grace you are equals treat your wife as equal so your prayers don't run aground the marriage relationship is the closest representation on earth that we have of the relationship of Christ with the church God desires for your marriage to one make you holy to make you more like God, not always just to make you happy. Happiness can be hard when you have a rough day at the office chasing bad guys. Happiness can be hard when you're dealing with, let's say, crazy to your moms. It can happen. But to be happy, to be more like God, nothing can take that away. To be a witness to the world by showing God's love and faithfulness. As Kendall and Evan proclaim their love for each other today, we can find comfort in their example of showing that there is a God and yes, he can be trusted. By the authority given to me by the state of North Carolina, I now pronounce you husband and wife in the name of the Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit. What God has joined together, may no one separate. Are you all ready? Five, six, seven, eight. Evan, you may kiss your beautiful bride.
privilege to introduce for the very first time Mr. and Mrs. Evan Seymour. 